Let's get all sorted. I'm James. And I'm Jeff. Hey, James, I've got an idea. Do you want to talk about Lego ideas again? Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Hey, James. Hello, listeners. For show notes, anything like that, there probably won't be any, to be honest with you, this time. But if there are... There's... We'll have links of some sort. Maybe. They'll be over at BreakingDads.com. BreakingDads.com? It's still BreakingDads.com. All these years on, it still is. And a thank you, as always, to our patrons. We appreciate the support. What are we going to talk about this week, Jeff? I already forget. We're talking about Lego ideas. I'm, you know, I'm glad we got back to the review so fast because the last time we did the episode, episode four, like we had to look because we were like, we did this, but yeah. like, when did we do it? Episode four. Episode four. And I think we concluded with this. I don't know if we said it in the episode, <laughs> but I know we said it in real life. We should get back to this. Yeah, we said that was a lot of fun. We should do this again. This should be a regular thing. And we was, <laughs> yes, a regular thing. <laughs> it is. So here we are three years later. It's a regular thing, dude. We're, we're going to do this again in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Micro calendars, everybody. Oh my gosh. 2021. It's done. <laughs> Come back for episode three of Lego Ideas. Oh my gosh. So a few things have changed. Yeah. For, yeah. Lego Ideas is. Uh, is last time up. we talked about it, it just transitioned from Lego Kuso. Right. The sort of original concept of Lego Ideas yeah. to Lego Ideas. Yeah. And, and now it's still Lego Ideas. No name change this time, but they did just introduce a new logo. Right. Which looks lovely. It's built out of Lego. That's the way to do it. Yeah, it makes sense. And they've sort of uh, pulled in sort of the rebrickable idea. Uh, They're going to have contests and it's sort of going to be, it's still Lego ideas. It's just going to, I think, have a bit more uh, impetus for interaction. Hmm. How's that? That sounds like, uh, yeah, that's the sense I got. Now, I I don't remember last time. Like, maybe we should go back and take a look at kind of what is the structure and background of ideas like that because it's changed a little bit i think in terms of if you want to submit an idea or you want to get involved kind of walk through that process for sure let's like if you had an idea right it's never gonna happen no i don't have uh, original ideas me either there's no No. ideas but if i did well how would i go about uh letting lego know about this idea well that's a great idea (laughs) let's say you have a an idea. Uh, you need to have photos or 3D rendering, renderings of your own original Lego brick model along with a written description, and that becomes your proposal. Okay. Okay, so uh, there's some rules, of course, to what a proposal should look like. No murder. <laughs> That's uh, the rule number one. I, you joke, but that is a specific it rule. It is a specific rule. <laughs> uh, there's, there's some basic things. Uh, a product idea is just one Lego set. So you're not proposing a whole new theme. Right. You can't be like, oh, oh, I have these great ideas for 1001 Arabian Nights, and it's 1001 different sets, and they all connect to form a giant Arabian Nights set. And as cool as that would be. that Actually, that would would be kind of cool. But no, see, that's your idea, and it's already nicked off. Uh, No, just one set. Um, It can have multiple items in that set, like Lego birds, where a bunch of different birds tied under one theme right in one box as a one-off set huh so that that works uh it has to be able to fit into a single box which i feel is kind of a cop-out rule Hmm. because you could make a box big enough to hold pretty well any set (laughs) yeah they capped it off at three thousand pieces right that that's generous i think i'd say if you can't get your idea in in three thousand pieces that's even a large modular yeah, should, for like, sure. Like you're, they're really given a lot of leeway there. It's a lot of leeway. They've made some bigger Lego sets recently, so yeah. Lego ideas. In the past, I would laugh at that and say, huh, 3,000, they'll never make it one that big. No, but... Times are changing. Yeah. It has to be a single concept or license, so you can't combine a whole bunch of things and, and go, I want the Lego friends to battle Ninjago Max. My, and, my Predator Friends crossover is not going to work. Predator Friends crossover would be... <laughs> I would watch that. They're going to hunt the Predator, I think, is how that works. I would say. Because they've got the science vehicles and stuff. They're going after the... It's... Wow. I'm going to... I'm Sorry, i got to go now, Jeff. i got some comic books to write. Who, who would be the best Predator hunter of the Friends? Is it Maya? I don't know. Mia? How do you say her name? I don't know. <laughs> you have to ask my daughter. Mia? It probably is Mia. Is it M-I... 
M I A or M A Y A? No, I don't. Re- I really don't remember. We were just talking. This You're morning the friends, about friends expert too. of the two of us. It brutal, dude. Yeah, we were just talking this morning. My wife said to my daughter because my daughter was complaining about needing more friends, and <laughs> she, she's like, "Well, I don't." My wife's like, "Don't you have it all?" And she's like, "I don't have the boyfriends of this this one and this one and this one." And and then I, well, I was like, well, can't they just like marry each other? Like, do we really have to get more of these? And anyway, have, have you seen the new Lego Friends theme they're going with? I have cart racing. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She's gonna lose because she's been. She saved all of her. Anyway, this is a whole friends aside. She saved all of her money for a friends, a big friend set. She's been really wanting to get something. So I'll, I'll have to show her that she'll lose her mind. Mm-hmm. Anyway, as as we were ideas. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so we can't combine friends with something else no. or any other. Uh, pairs of licenses together, no. friends predator. You can't base your idea on a licensed property they currently sell or a property that entered into our portfolio through a previous Lego Ideas set. That's a hard one to parse, that sentence. So you can't do a Lego Batman submission okay. or a Lego Star Wars submission or a Lego Ghostbusters submission or Doctor right. Who. Right, because of Doctor Who entering through the previous Lego Ideas. Exactly. Gotcha. You can't. It does not accept product ideas based on any currently active license. Gotcha. Yes. So no Star Wars, Marvel superheroes, Lego, Mercedes-Benz, Ferrari. Wow. They, that cuts out a lot of stuff. It really does. Considering how many licenses they have going. Yes. Yeah. They've licensed everything. Yeah. Uh, if it's made by Disney, they've probably licensed it at exactly. some point. Yeah. And then third party licenses through the ideas. Yeah. So Minecraft, Doctor Who, Adventure Time, uh, Apollo program. I guess you could do other NASA stuff, but you couldn't do it with the Apollo program. Or, or maybe, Mars. Maybe. All right. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's really, it's limiting. And that's a newer rule. They added that in April of 2017. Because they probably got so many samesies. It was just a sea of, I, I don't even know. I think samesies and I think also the problem of uh, somebody going, hey, I submitted an idea like that two years ago. Right. And now you're building Killer Croc rides a giant vehicle with jaws that open and close set. Yeah. Or Scarecrow on a farm <laughs> set. <laughs> trying to think of <laughs> some marvels yeah so i can see how that would cause problems hmm. for sure but it is limiting but i like it because again it it was getting very limits are good for creativity exactly i i, I firmly believe that so i think this, yeah, this is probably a good thing it hedges things in a little bit which allows people to yeah their uh, creativity to blossom within the the walls yeah and once you've figured out your non-licensed non-current licensed or past lego ideas licensed set that was a long sentence uh, I, I, once lost. you have your original idea or based on an ip they haven't licensed yet yeah, yeah. then you submit it yeah and you've got 60 days to get 100 supporters right which i think is a, a good timeline to keep lego ideas from getting I clogged up exactly i think that's exactly it that's that's a d and that's a hard a hundred is probably harder than most people think it's oh, going to be. For sure, it, you you think everybody you know on Facebook is going to go and support you, but they won't. No, it's going to be like grandma, be like, yeah, I was gonna, but I couldn't figure out this ideas thing, and I didn't want to sign up for an. I did did well, we didn't, we just didn't, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I know, I know. We <laughs> just did crushed your 13 year old <laughs> dreams, but we didn't. But 60 days, that's a good uh, amount of time to actually, like you say, it just flushes out the system. It keeps the this the idea site from bloating into just 5 billion yes. different things. And you get an excellent reward once you've hit 100. From the time you hit 100, you then get a year to reach 1,000. Which, again, I imagine that is a hard number to hit. Like, I don't know what percentage of them actually even get close to 1,000. I'm going to say less than 5%. I, I don't. I have no idea. Somebody out there might know that. If you know the number, let us know. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it can't be good. There's somebody that works for lego on this website and they know exactly oh yeah exactly the number yeah it's not that this this sites aren't good it's just that that's a it's hard to convince a thousand people to do anything for sure as people that are uh, content creators we know it's hard to get a thousand people to do anything <laughs> hey listen to this thing <laughs> and then the unthinkable after you've got a thousand you get a bit more time then you get six months to reach five thousand that is like you you better be a rocket escaping the atmosphere at that point because at six months to get another four thousand that's yes. bananas so you have to have actually bullet trained past a thousand in the allotted time in order to reach five thousand you're not going to get 4k in six months that's a lot that's, that's a, a lot yes you better have some traction you better have some marketing built in at this point so in the, the first 60 days you weren't at 100 you were at a thousand <laughs> 
<laughs> like, if you don't have that traction early on mm-hmm. or somehow accidentally stumble into, you know, the zeitgeist partway through this whole thing, like your idea suddenly is like a popular idea. Yeah, I can't imagine. It's got to be somewhat crushing. I don't know. See, that's what would prevent me. I view this process as just soul destroying, Jeff. I can't <laughs> imagine actually submitting myself to this process. It seems arduous. It seems difficult. It is. And that's why so very few get to the 10,000 you need. Yeah. But those that do are the lucky ones. And so three times a year? Three times a year, they'll take everything that's hit over 10,000 and it'll go to review. Wow. With the last chance for someone at Lego to crush your hopes and dreams. (laughs) Yeah. How many have made it through in general? Like, I, I don't remember the last few review rounds. It couldn't have been many, though, that hit 10,000. Yeah, around 10-ish. Sometimes a little under, sometimes a little over. Tend to go through each review. This is really amazing. Just as a process, though, the whole ideas review process is an interesting example of how to do a fan-contributed concept and like how to sift out the ideas. And that that whole idea of filtering it through this whole like process and then ending up with something good at the end it's amazing it works i just it's just kind of like wow this functions it is definitely interesting and it is i like it because it's a weird concept because you submit an idea and you gather the support that's very democratic yeah but it's not a democratic process no because it's not the the ideas with the most support get made mm-hmm. it's the ideas that hit a, an arbitrary threshold. Yeah. And then a Lego designer goes, yeah, we can work with that. Or lawyers go, yes, we can work out this right. license. Yeah, exactly. And they go, yeah, we'll sell enough of that to make it worth our time and effort to redesign the set, do all the artwork. And we'll hit on it later, but it, considering how many of the sets are licensed, license sets, that the role of lawyers in this process is probably a lot larger than you, one would think when they enter into the process. When you, when you submit your idea, you don't think, oh, right, this is going to have to go through a screen of lawyers. But it, considering how many are licensed, did they really must. That's a weird filter. And then I'm sure there are ideas that have lost out just because of weird license. I, for the most part, I think when Lego phones the owner of an IP and goes, we want to do a Lego uh, yeah. version, <laughs> they go, that's awesome. Let's do it. Yeah, exactly. But there's weird... Adventure we, Time wasn't just like, I don't know. I mean, that sounds kind of lame. Like, we do cartoons and, and graphic novels, but like... Is Lego? there a fit with like? I don't know. I don't see it. I just don't see it. Yeah, again, I think for the most part. But then there are weird license agreements out there where some obscure company locked up the toy rights in 1984. Right, and they just simply can't. And they're going to say, no, you have to pay us if you want to tread on our territory. Yeah. I, I don't know. I wonder <laughs> if that's happened yet. It had to have. But somebody's going to bend over backwards somewhere to make this work. I'm, we'll tear up that agreement. This is Lego. We might be biased yeah. on our That's <laughs> on true. Our process. This is true. But as you said before, there's there's three reviews a year. So three times a year, sets enter. If they've hit the 10,000 between the last review and the next, and the current one, they enter the review process. And then eventually there'll be announcements of what sets have been chosen. I think Lego's done a really good job of being clear and transparent and very helpful on illustrating this whole process like even on their website like the diagrams showing you the the review stages it's really well done i would say they're very clear and transparent on the democratic side exactly yes not on the lego side but handicapping which sets have gotten picked or not picked has gotten very difficult as for a long time it seemed sets over a certain size would never get picked right and then We'll talk about the sets that have come out. That went out the window big time. Yeah. And then it was, oh, certain themes won't get done. Hmm. Big Bang Theory comes out. Yeah. Really? Yeah, exactly. I didn't see that coming. (laughs) Yeah, it was was an interesting set. Yeah, that's surprising. A big chunk of it, I bet, is if one of the designers wants to come on board and champion it. And they go, I want to build that set. Right. I want to redesign that set. I'm really interested in it. I need to do this. Yeah. Let me do this. Yeah. That- and, and if they can walk, come back with maybe having tweaked it or having worked on it in a way that makes sense, I guess there must be somewhere they look at it and they just don't see the inspiration. The inspiration doesn't hit them. You know, they go, ah, that, I'm not feeling this. Yeah. So what, what are the other restrictions that they have? I mean, you got to be 13 yep. minimum age. Which so makes sense. That, again, another nice filter. <laughs> <laughs> That's their like first filter. They're like, okay, we know that your eight-year-old builds a lot of very cool things. However, 
the world doesn't need to see them. I mean, I'm sure there's eight-year-olds out there that are better builders than me. Oh, I'm 100% positive. I, I'm 100% sure that's the that same. Yeah. You know, but they'll have an adult that could submit the idea for them. That's true. But it, it does, get, it seems like, you know, we were saying before, the a lot of kids, if you're going to hit your dark ages, you're probably hitting it around before 13. Mm-hmm. If you're sticking in there at 13, you're probably either really good at building at this point because you've been doing it for a while you're committed or you've gotten back into it or you're just getting into it in which case you again you're very serious about it so there's a kind of like a it's a i guess if you're if your eight-year-old's brilliant you could submit on your kid's behalf yes and and then take all the credit and push your kid aside and just no it was me i will sign these boxes yeah, exactly. it was all me it's all me but i no, that seems like a good Probably a good, decent cutoff. I'm sure they that's, found that worked. That's a good rule. Yeah, for sure. So. Uh, as is the rule for only accepting ideas using currently available Lego bricks. I think that's a bummer that I can't use all of my knockoff bricks to, uh, you know, my all of my weapons and things to create a... Uh, a Definitely, like definitely off-brand or just, uh, <laughs> hey, remember that part that you made for one set in uh, 1984? Yeah. I'm using that. I'm using the 200 exactly. of that part. 200 of that. My... My space theme cyberpunk set is not going to work now. Just disappointing me to me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> your submission has to be your own work and no one else's. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes Plagiarism. Sense. I think that's a general rule in life. Explicitly outlined. Yeah. That's good. I, I think this is an important one for Lego. Posting a product idea on Lego Ideas does not give you exclusive rights to the, quote, idea behind it. Yeah. They're like, we might have thought of this also, and we might also be doing a thing on it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. A lot of these are general like workplace ideas. Like if you were, worked for a company and you had, you know, a night you came up with something, mm-hmm. this seems to follow along with general like intellectual property kind of laws and ideas. I think, I think as well, they're sort of freeing people up from, you can get inspiration from someone else's work. Yeah. If somebody did a, a modular building you liked and you did your own version of that as long as it is your own version and you're not you know reverse engineering exactly what they've done you could submit that idea right the person yes. doesn't own they're like no i i did a museum no one else can submit right. a lego museum yes. yeah, exactly yeah. yeah and again so you can overlap some other members work as long as it's your own original work yeah that makes sense if you come up with a unique creation that's not based on something considered generic or based on the real world, that idea is yours. No one else can submit that. So if you came up with a very specific Zeppelin design. Right. Then. Or if you created a whole new species of creature. Yes. And you want to do like it's whatever it is. An I don't anglomorph. Know. Yeah. You called it. And it was a, it's hey. part bear and part shark. And this is, you got a whole storyline with this. Yes. I'm realizing I just gave a, a Olympic mascot from the Vancouver Olympics. Oh, so what about yeah. <laughs> the bear shark, I think was a real. Yeah. Already you're out. Yeah. You're See? out. Plagiarism. Boom. I told people I have no original ideas. <laughs> Uh, you can report stolen work if somebody does put up your work as their own work. Fair There's a, a resource for that. That's 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 good they've identified that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you can't edit your ideas after they've been posted. I find this one weird. I get it. I, they do it so that you can't receive... Feedback and then just... Not even feedback. You can't receive uh, support for an idea and then completely change the concept. Which makes sense because that would be... If you're building iterations and then you come up with version 5.0, that's so much better. Well, even based on people's feedback, you could... Like gauging it through the different steps isn't really fair. So that makes sense that you... You can update it, but all the all the updates will be in the updates tab, not on the main page. Right. Yeah, that's that's makes sense. You can uh, collaborate with people. You can work. I mean, that makes sense. Like all, a lot of these things yeah. are, and you know, you can't sell or market it on your own. <laughs> like it, it, all of these things are within reasonable, I think, with with kind of intellectual uh, property rights, ownership stuff, and yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. And those are good rules. And they've been very transparent, which. But- Again, lawyers. For the most part, those are very boring rules. They are very boring rules. So what's the exciting rules? Well, now we get into the the acceptable content guidelines, and I, I find a lot of these fun. You didn't you didn't like all the proposals I had before we started recording. No. No, I won't even I won't even. But yeah, okay, well let's let's go through the list. What is what are some of the things that are considered inappropriate in gen- general terms? So let's not get specific. Okay, so uh, politics and political symbols, campaigns, or movements. Okay, fair that's, enough. That's nice. It's nice that we're not being divisive here, and they're yeah. going to keep it civil on the, uh, on the Lego Ideas site. That's good, I that's think. That's good. 
Yes. And since you can't talk about politics, yeah. what's the other thing you're not supposed to talk about in polite company? I think it would be religious uh, <laughs> references, including symbols, buildings, or people. That's right. So, you cannot submit a Lego church for your Lego city. So Lego Jesus is not going to happen. Not going to happen. You can... That's... Which is interesting, though, because... Uh, you can have historical people. We can do, For sure. know, we can do the women of NASA, but we couldn't do a, like a line of like real life historical religious people that existed, right? Correct. Which is weird. Well, I do find that kind of it's interesting, but it's interesting that that's where they draw the line. I like, think how that do you specific decide? example is not where they drew the line. They drew the line so that other specific examples that, okay, can't be done. Fair enough. Yes. And that's that's an interesting one, though, so that they have to, like, you got to cut out a whole thing just to say, you know what? Okay, we know that there's, there's things that would work within the realm of this, but we're going to exclude the entire subject. We don't trust you is really what it comes down to. I think that's and what they, it, And they are smart. Yes, I agree. Because I think someone at Lego once went onto the internet. <laughs> And said, oh, no, 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 this won't do. Yeah, no, no. So uh, no politics, so no religion. No cult compound, modular buildings. Well, definitely, especially with this next restriction, no sex, nudity, drugs, or smoking. I effectively feel like I've been blocked out of this process completely, Jeff. I just, the sets, all of them, all of my, I had all those things built into one, and it was it was great. My 1968. Cult compound, <laughs> Cult yes. compound. With, it your, was with yourself set up as leader. Hippie new religious movement that was going to happen. No, I guess we're not doing it. Uh, so then we get into... They loosen things up a bit, though, Jeff, on the next one, right? Well, I like that they got into a very... They realized that they painted themselves in a corner yes. with their policies over the years. So uh, alcohol is a no-no in any present-day situation. But that means we can do saloons. We can do speakeasies. We Ca can do... Castles is sort of the thing, right? Because, oh, of course, right. they've got all the... Goblets of wine. Goblets through all the castles right. throughout the years. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. For the most part, I think they've they've changed drugs and alcohol into sugar and sugary sweet drinks huh. in all the modern sets. Wow. The idea is those mugs are full of root beer. Sure they are. Not beer. Absolutely. I mean, mead basically was water anyway. I'm a little upset, though, that nobody's going to propose a Lego modular microbrew. Microbrew. That's true. You yeah. can't have, yeah. You know, with a really cool brewery. Hipster IPAs. You know, distiller built in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then a nice tasting lounge with a bunch of different taps. Man, oh man. You know? It's like it's like Lego doesn't exist in the real world at all. No, you can't do meth labs. You can't do, like, yeah, breweries. It, everything's cut out. <laughs> What's the that's, fun of this? That's like my entire neighborhood here. <laughs> it's gone. No grow ops? No. Oh, man. man, oh, man. Uh, how about death, killing, blood? Well, you, well, you, you missed the other one. Oh, do, so, oh sorry. Do, do. I skipped right by swearing and profanity. Yeah, that was... Uh, which which Again, felt obvious, but I, how do you build? How do you build swearing and profanity? The title, so it'd be like it'd have to be in the written part. The yeah. written part, so it's like a modular hotel, but the title of the hotel is like bleep bleep bleep, and I don't even know how you got. Did it. I ever tell you my hotel story? This relates very directly. I want, oh, I'm so when my wife and I got married, uh -huh. we uh, we we drove down the East Coast to get to Disney World. Okay. Okay. So we stopped in I'm Savannah. I'm going to ask a dumb question. Is that, that's in Florida, right? Yes, Florida. Okay. Yeah. So east coast of, uh, we started in Ontario and drove down. Okay. And, and we stopped in Savannah, Georgia. And we were, this was the cheapest honeymoon we could do, right? We were on our way to a timeshare my grandparents had in Florida. <laughs> we're trying to spend as little money as possible. So we were going to the cheapest hotels. We stopped at a, <laughs> a hotel in Savannah, Georgia. It was just off the highway, across the street from uh, a strip club. Right. And we, we pulled up. And we go, we'd like a room for the night. And the clerk said, the whole night? Because <laughs> no one at this hotel oh, has ever paid for an entire night. That's fantastic. Oh, oh that was a good... I, I won't ask follow-up questions. That's, we, uh, yeah. we had sleeping bags, and we just yes. slept on okay, top. Okay, that, that <laughs> yes. was... Yes. Wow. The whole night? <laughs> that, bring your own sleeping bags. I, I think of that I think of that person often that's, when I that's an amazing reaction. The good thing about that trip is our hotel bar has been so lowered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that like when we get there and you know they haven't refilled the soap or something. It's not like yeah, no. <laughs> the end of the world for uh, us. That story comes up every single time you go to a hotel and you think it of really how does. how low the bar is. The whole night. That's fantastic. So, uh, no swearing or profanity. Okay. <laughs> uh 
I can't believe they have to list this next one. No death, killing, blood, terrorism, horror, or torture. That Again, this is very subjective because I could be like, well, I really didn't like that TV show from the 80s. So that was kind of torture, to be honest with you, that I have to look at that set. Like, I think they, they mean this in a literal way. <laughs> So, like, the Big Bang Theory set for you kind of could have been torture? Could a little bit. No. No, I, I won't. <laughs> I won't go. But again, you brought up a good point before about horror. What does that mean? Yeah. Does that mean you can't do a Goosebumps set? Is Goosebumps technically horror? Yeah. I don't know what... Again, it's subjective, right? So, it's mm-hmm. their call. So, they if they thought, hey, this will sell, like, hotcakes, they can go, yeah, it's not really horror. I think it's a... And they'll it, know it when they see it situation. Yeah. yeah could could uh, Ghostbusters consider comedy horror kind of, well yeah i don't know uh, i guess what they're really getting is like human centipede like they don't want that in lego form mm-hmm. or any form yeah that makes sense so some of the rules have been very vague like the last one we just read the next one no first person shooter video games right so no doom no uh yeah. wolfenstein yeah no not none of no, the modern uh, day shooters no overwatch oh wait, wait. oh lego's doing that yeah, so, but it's not an idea, Jeff. No, it's not a Lego idea. So that's the, all that matters. I could see, I, I, I understand the idea of if they didn't have that rule, it would just be flooded with because the first person shooters dominate the video game market. Which means that these sets would actually get votes very quickly. And For, in a way, they're anticipating a demand that they don't want to see generated because they know that they would have to then weed out really big, uh, like a Call of Duty set. And they don't want to deal with that. Yeah, it's one of those... Let's make it go away just by making it go away. <laughs> exactly. So that works for me. I'm, I agree. I don't need a first-person shooter Lego video game set. Yeah, no, me either. I'm good. You think, though, they could have got rid of it just from the next rule, warfare or war vehicles in any modern or present-day situation well, again, or national war memorials. That Doom idea set I was going to do doesn't fall under that one, so they have to cover it with the... I suppose. I suppose yeah. that's true. Yeah, we don't, we're not currently fighting a war on Mars, so... No, currently. That's... Currently. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep you gotta keep your options open so we got uh, large or human scale weapons or wep- weapon replicas of any kind including swords knives guns sci-fi or fantasy blasters etc i feel like they wrote this rule just based on all of the submissions they've gotten i think it's just based on all the sets they've done in the past they thought you know what we probably should keep out these but again these are full-size human scaled ones right okay yes. so it's not lego scale weapons it's, no you can still right. have uh lego scale web uh uh what do we got weapon replicas right but i can't including swords knives guns. i can't make a yeah a handheld blaster that is full size exactly gotcha that's fair enough yeah and absolutely if you want that you, they're all over the internet yeah they exactly. exist so there's definitely a, a a demand for them out there yeah and then the last one <laughs> again i can't believe they have to write this down racism check Okay, that makes sense. Let's not have that. Bullying? Yeah, absolutely. Let's not have that. Cruelty to real life animals. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> How did this come up? I don't even know. Yeah, that's a really Is that like an a real life farm set? Well, that's the thing cuz are is, they saying what are they, they saying depiction of cruelty to real life animals or like actually you, having real life animals? You couldn't have a slaughterhouse or a factory farm. Or I can't have a real hamster included in this set. Yeah. Or is it, exactly, is it, they don't want pictures of, uh, my Lego idea set is a pit filled with Lego that I make my cat walk across. Yeah, it's a hamster wheel that is motorized, and uh, this hamster has to run. Like, I, yeah, I don't know how they came up with that. For the, that you, disturbs me. You want a good me. weight loss system for your hamster. You don't want, <laughs> nobody wants a chubby hamster. You got to get those old train motors. Yeah, this is really weird i i again like you say i i wonder what happened to lead i don't even want to know it's, there's a story behind every yeah, one of these rules and there's a submission troubling. behind every one of these rules for sure so you couldn't have a set where like uh, a back to the future set where biff or whatever his name was is bullying marty that wouldn't fly good point so there's, there's although some, you couldn't have a back to the future set because it's already, already been, been done, done yeah. right delorean yeah mm, i don't know it's it is weird there you'd think there'd be some no that's pretty good guidelines I can live with these. These are good. Uh, there's also a rule about iconic elements of inappropriate third-party properties or IPs are not allowed. So if you're trying to skirt around the fact, uh, oh, they'll never do an alien set, but if I do sort of a xenomorph-looking creature with a long tongue that has a mouth on right. it... Right, you can't rip it off. Exactly. You can't, you can't rip things off to get around yeah. the rules. 
That makes sense. And then they come to the legit, oh, this is where they explicitly say you can't have aftermarket pirates. You can't have, uh, you can't just be using that knockoff stuff. You can't have, come up with your own Lego components that you're going to include in this one. No, guys, this is a really good part. You need to make this. They're like, yeah, but that's complicated. No. So none of that. None of that? No minifigure only ideas or minifigure series or battle packs. And I, I think that's really, no honestly, brainer. this already was taken care of by getting rid of the existing IP ones. Because yeah. in the past, I saw many suggestions for, uh, ooh, let's do a Batman collectible minifigure series. Because that's what the people want. Yeah. You can't bring back old Lego sets. That's another good one. Uh, that makes total sense. I mean, they, they would just be littered with that. Mm-hmm. Please, we need this. It's out of print. This is my not green grocer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely, you can't have anything <laughs> licensed by their competitors. Yeah. That makes sense. So I <laughs> I wonder how many times they've had like a call oh, for Barbie sets. I'm sure. Or Hot Wheels sets. Exactly. And you're like, you do know that that's our number one competitor yeah, exactly. in the toy market, right? I'm wondering how closely people actually follow this filter. Like, do, how do how many times did they get the submission and just sigh and have to delete it and write a letter saying this does not adhere to a guideline 4.87? Like, how often people don't really read these? Dozens of times a day, I'm, I'm going to say. Yeah. So you can't run your own contests that, or that giveaways. Sense. That makes it. That's a huge one. Mm-hmm. Like, I need to get to 100. I'll give a dollar to everybody that votes for my thing. You can't yes. do that. You can't bribe people. Yeah, or I'll give you the instructions on how to build it if you vote for it. No yeah, putting totally pictures of, uh, no selfies, so no pictures of your beautiful mug or uh, hands or other body parts in the photos. That makes 100% sense. For sure. They know how marketing works. They're like, no, Lego only, please. That is a good way to have a very specific rule to get rid of a, a very specific problem. Yeah, that I makes think so. Up. Uh, so, and then you're allowed to use the Lego logo in your ideas if it if the Lego logo is part of the build. Yeah. So if you want to do a Lego delivery truck, that's okay. But you can't make it look like it's endorsed. No, you can't put Lego behind your image as if, like you say, it's a it's already official. If you want that Lego logo, you got to earn it. You got to earn it. Exactly. It has to make sense. And then you basically just can't create mock-ups of finished products to make it look like, hey, this is... This is built. This is happening. Because that is, yeah, it's creating, it's getting away from what the set actually is and saying, it, it, here's the finished good. Because the boxes always look better. <laughs> like <laughs> Lego, look better. Lego does such a good job of, you know, putting the, when you put a set into a context on the box cover with the art, you know, it's like some of those Harry Potter sets. They look so much better on the boxes. <laughs> so it's like, they, it's easy to you sass up your set with that. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. And again, it's that implication of, endorsement which not necessarily there exactly and pretty much everything else they had just applied to the presentation of how you should try to do it yeah they, they no do lead good job. speak yeah teaching you how to do it yeah no leads that one I, that's another one where i'm sure they have to they specifically say they will go in and clean up your language if yeah you, if you type bad yeah if you don't know the words if you use too much punctuation if you use all caps or all lowercase has to be in english it has to be your original models and stuff. Yeah, it's all, again, I think you're, it's the, the remaining ones were mostly about just presentation and not so much the content of it. Where I, I think that, to me, that's the most interesting part is like how that content filter actually functions and what they had to think about in order to keep certain specific examples out that they must have seen a bazillion, <laughs> a bazillion time. times. Oh my god! Too often. Now, since we last talked, I mean, three years, it's been a while. So there was a lot of sets. Well, no, I mean, there's not that many, really, that were no. released. There were so many proposed. There was an infinite number submitted, but not that many actually released, which I, I think is always why I it doesn't... It, when we thought about how long it had been since we'd covered ideas, it didn't, didn't actually seem that long in a way. Because I was like, yeah, like you can kind of... I, you, you listed off sets, and I was like, yeah, that okay, but that's three years? It shows not a lot get through the 10,000 mark and then the ones that do not a lot get through the review process exactly yeah it really lego ideas is a site full of crushed dreams (laughs) (laughs) that's its main function i think yeah someone takes a brick separator to your dreams (laughs) (laughs) lego ideas But to give you an idea how long it's been since we last talked, yeah. um, there were four approved sets that hadn't been released yet. Mm. Big Bang Theory. Right. WALL-E. Yeah. Doctor Who. Yeah. And then the, uh, which was originally submitted as the Labyrinth, but became the Lego Maze. Right. That, and the Maze was, we, we did the Doctor Who one. That was fun. Mm-hmm. And the maze, uh, I know you did. I wanted to and just didn't. And then I forgot. And then I probably live with regret now. 
The Maze is one of my all-time favorite sets. You raved about it when that it's, thing came out. It's I built different inserts for it. Huh. I have a whole like a whole Batman themed one. Right. Which is awesome. I, I love, love, love the maze. Yeah. It's, it's like brickheads, right? It's an in it's an instigates you to do more. It is a creativity stimulant for yeah. people that maybe thought they weren't as creative as I they love might it. be. That's, that's, that's I think that's, that's I one call. of my all time favorites uh, from the ideas is the maze. For that very reason. I overall I those are all good sets though. I bought all th- I bought three of the four. Of yeah. those proposed sets. The only one I didn't get is Big Bang Theory. Right. And I've almost bought it when it was on sale, but I just can't. You're, I don't know what to do with it. Right. Because it doesn't fit into necessarily. Like, it's not for you as a standalone. It's not. Yeah. It wasn't huge. And then for the parts, no. you're not like, I don't need a Sheldon part. Exactly. Then, yeah. It didn't fit into. I don't need a penny piece. Right. Yeah. <laughs> those are literally the end of the characters I know the name of. That's that it. No. And that, that being said, if it was one of a dozen other TV shows yeah. that I connect with more. Right. I would have been all over it and super yeah. excited. So I, I get why they did it. And, yeah. and I know there are people out there that fell in love. And then I'm sure there are people out there. This is the only Lego set they own. You'd done the Star Trek bridge. I could have been into that. Could have been. Could have been. Could have been. I thought I, you have a weird relationship with sci-fi, don't you? I do. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to get into it. Okay. <laughs> we, I, although I just started, my, my daughter wanted to start watching Star Trek Next Generation. So yesterday we watched uh, the intro, the, the movie, like the, whatever, the two-part Farpoint episode. So we're going to watch like all 587 episodes of The Next Generation. So. There's some good sci-fi. You know what? It, it held up so, it's 30 years old, 31 years old. It held up so much better than mm-hmm. I thought it would. I thought this is going to be a horrible experience. And I'd watched probably a couple hundred of them when I was a kid. And I, I was like, this was actually pretty pretty good like for sure patrick stewart's amazing and they they're did, all amazing it was, it was really well done they did a really good job maintaining the staffs the 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 cast interest throughout the show exactly by letting them direct episodes and yeah take shots at writing and it's just it's it was much better than i anticipated so at any rate we actually i've been going deep now on sci-fi again in my house so yeah what, what is this po- what is this podcast but an aside jeff <laughs> <laughs> we're yes we're a collection of asides i think so and then the occasional talk about lego lego oh right 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 and this isn't the the star trek podcast we're doing you can submit star trek because one oh, of their competitors has a license that's a yeah that's a bummer so big bang theory is the one i didn't buy wally phenomenal model ton of fun to put together looks really good on a shelf doctor who i like it yeah it's not a again unless you're gonna play with that it's uh the display of it is a little weird i got it for the minifigs yeah i'm not gonna lie that's yeah. it's 100 percent. the tardis is nice the tardis is nice and the tardis will show up in my city yeah. once my city gets oh that'll built. be cool that's good the whole interior part though is a bit weird but again it's a the, the playability and, and you get a peter capaldi figure exactly you need so one that's of those a win. In, your, in your city just perusing the pet shop uh since that time then uh so 2016 saw the release of a whopping two lego ideas is sets. that it yeah a two for all of 2016 wow which ones were those yellow submarine okay yeah beetles right that was a no-brainer uh-huh. uh and the the caterham caterham seven Really? Yep. And we probably mispronounced that, so sorry, people. Yeah. For people that know things Car about people. cars, they're just they're just shaking their fist at us right now. Ah, uh, wow, that's a, that's bananas. That was it, huh? It was a very yellow year for them. Wow. And now you were, I'm imagining, because you guys are Beatles fans, so you must have been all over the Yellow Submarine. So I thought, oh, no. my wife oh, is no. a massive Beatles fan, yeah. and I thought, this will be a great gift for her. Maybe we could build it together. It'll be a lot of fun. What happened? Is it still in a box? Absolutely. Well, to be fair, your whole house is still in a box, so you'll you'll That's get true, there. But not for 2016. You'll get there. <laughs> That's a and good all point. of 2017. <laughs> That's I, I was giving you an out. I know, I know. You take it's, that out. Uh, it's one of those things. It was a it was a big miss. It was a swing and a miss as a gift for me. I it'd be nice if you guys get to that. I'd like to see that. It's a it looks fantastic. It does look fantastic. I'm not a Beatles person, and I, I thought that looked like a fun build. The the proportions nice, the scales. I I don't know. You'll get to it eventually. Uh, I'm not a car guy, so I didn't buy the car. No, it's a it looks it looks cool. It looks lovely. That that was one of those. Uh, I think that would have come close on our... Because we they make our car list, I don't think, in our garage. Did it? I don't think either no, of us... No, it's not minifigure scale. Right, so that's the problem. Yeah. Yes, that'd be like the, the the Technic Porsche. It's one of those things you look at and you're like, that's awesome. Yeah. But that's and I right. like I like this 
better than a lot of the the Technic vehicles because yeah. it, it doesn't look Technic. It exactly, looks, it looks like a finished, curvy, smooth. A, yeah, it is a nice looking. The yellow and black, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. But it's just not. It didn't work for me. No, it doesn't. It's, fit I'm in just the not. City. The, I am not the target market for that item. No, I am looking at two Porsches that we recently built. As as a, we, but that's a different story. Very different. You're not a car guy unless they're a minifig. And Porsches. And as Porsches. Well. They can they'll make it their way into the city. They, that's why they're there. They're waiting for it's the like city Grand to be laid out. They're just yes. gonna like boom, boom, just lay down the base while they're waiting outside the, the Parisian they're gonna restaurant. Be, they're gonna be being chased by uh, uh, by Lego super villain vehicles. Nice. And then Lego superheroes will then be chasing the villains chasing the Porsches. That's that's how it is in my mind anyway. Wow, there's an action movie happening. I there's like a this. lot going on in my Lego this city. This is cool. I can potentially will be. I don't know. So that was twenty seventeen, the two sets? Those were 2016. 2016, okay. Two sets in 2016. So what happened in 2017? 2017, we saw I four like, sets. I feel come. like I slept, Jeff, for yes. two years. What? So 2017, first up was Adventure Time. Right, okay. I Again, like I, this I don't one. Have, we, I didn't get this one. There's no good reason either. We love Adventure Time. Uh, yeah, I, I, I bought it because I was hoping it would be like Minecraft. They would sell enough that they would then release right. proper minifigs. You could have a Candy sets. Kingdom. Yes. And we do have proper minifigs now because of the Lego Dimensions game. Thank you, Lego Dimensions. Yes. I think maybe that's what, why we didn't. We got some of that. Yeah. By the time by the time you're going to roll up to this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that it, it sold well. It's always tough to tell if a Lego idea set sells well or not. All yeah. I know is my local Toys R Us had a lot on clearance at uh, the end. And that's never a good sign. No. Uh, but that could be just an individual market thing. Could have been timing. Exactly. But I liked it. I built it. They, You don't play with them, though. They just sit on a shelf. Right. Because they look so cool. And then there was the NASA Apollo Saturn five uh and this is this is a big set this is almost two thousand pieces wow yeah so it's um it's loverly uh and that's one where when it got up for review people were like oh that's not gonna pass too big a set right you know nothing that big's come out yet yeah i mean the even the super seven was only 771 pieces hmm. right which uh is that was that the Biggest up to then for Lego Ideas? I think it was by a wide margin. So nothing bigger than that had been built. People are assuming, I was assuming, uh, it's, it's a beautiful rocket model. They're not going to. And then it came out. Wow. And it's giant. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's massive. Yeah, so a lot of fun there. And then uh, the old fishing store yes. was in 2017. And that's the first one that really, really shocked me. Because there's right. been a lot of beautiful buildings yeah. that have gone up for review. None of them were released. Yeah. And we talked about this one just recently. Yeah, this is one of my, my favorites from that year. It, it's one I don't own. No. You know, me either. And that's, I'm like... But oh, I want a, to own it. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to spend the money that's on it. That's my problem with it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised this actually made it through in a way because it was seemed too awesome. There's a lot of personality going on here. It's and fantastic. I, I, I wonder if the high-end Lego Ninjago sets Helps had an influence. Possibly. Saying, hey, there's a bigger market here yeah. in the adults for whimsy yeah. and fun than we thought there was. And it, yeah, it has so, like you said, personality. It has a, so much more than... A lot of the other sets that, that's what grabbed me immediately about mm -hmm. it when it was uh, proposed because it is so distinctive but it's also it in some ways i guess from lego's perspective it maybe helps set the bar it said hey here's what we're expecting out of a lego idea <laughs> set in a way so it, it might have discouraged some sets from getting you know people were like i got a lego ideas and then they see this and then they're like ah it's not the old fishing store I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know if there's a component of that. If, But yeah, I think it, it worked on so many ways. Yes. And then the other set is uh, one that you bought that yeah. I don't have, the, the Women of NASA set. Yeah, which is it's not s super about the being a great Lego build in as much as it's just a cute little build and inspirational to, to young girls, uh, to young children, period. It's, it's cool. It's a nice little set. Yeah, my, my daughter had fun putting it together and looking through the book and thinking about these people as real people. And that was that was a good. Yeah. I like that. It was a nice touch. It was it was a role model set for sure. Yeah, I think that was smart. Of all the NASA things you could do, it was a good one to follow up with. Yeah, sort of the spiritual sequel to the um, Women in Science, exactly. the Research Institute. That's right. Except instead of being a theoretical. Yes. 
people like you could do this it was look here's people that have done this precisely yeah we don't have that the uh the original one there nobody has the research institute no. they did not make enough of them i can imagine i feel like they corrected that with the uh, i think and that seemed like uh yeah exactly they were they did they underestimated how, how much people were hankering for some awesome lego feminism and I, I love it. It was almost a, a, a mea culpa yeah, <laughs> on that one. Exactly. And that brings us to 2018, where they have already released two sets, and they have uh, another one on the way that was just recently announced. So let's let's go with the boring old sets first. Okay. So Ship in a Bottle came out. Right. Um, I still want to buy this. I pass oh, by it all the time. You know, the, it's cool. It just looks cool. It's, it's one of those that doesn't even... If you had said to me that someone was going to make that, I wouldn't have thought that would... I, my brain would have went, how? And then even seeing it, it still seems kind of improbable as a Lego thing, <laughs> which is amazing. That's what gets me about it. It's so outside of the, the realm of what I thought mm-hmm. was about Lego, which I, uh, that's really cool. I think uh, to me, there was some disappointment in... I, I thought the... I like the ship and the bottle yeah in the submitted idea better uh that being said the base on this one looks really really good or is more ornate yeah as far as a, a display piece goes mm-hmm. fantastic but i don't own it because again i just don't have a place for it no i don't have a big desk at work yeah i don't know what i would do with it yeah but it looks so good it does look so good so that's shipping a bottle and then uh and then another license set tron tron legacy another one of those ones where i would have went what and then there it is because i mean the the original the movie didn't did the movie how did the movie do i think it only did okay yeah that's what i thought yeah i've never seen but it. they had a tv series as did well seriously? it's disney that, so it's uh, right. you know they yeah. have a lot of channels to distribute content that's on. a good point yeah fair enough yeah it's it's kind of it's it's cool looking it doesn't blow me away but it, it is cool looking like that was some clever design choices, I think. It looks, it does the job it needs to do. It does it well, I think. Mm-hmm. Color scheme's fantastic. Yeah. Like it looks, I was saying before looking at it, I like it. I like seeing the the proposed build on the box mm-hmm. because there's context of Tron, Troniness. But when you see it kind of like you know, with the background sucked out, it, it loses some of its like context. And it's just, it, it's still a nice build, but it's, mm-hmm. I don't know, Tron's all about that like dark, cavernous feel to me as a mm-hmm. child of the 80s yeah i think i can't come around to the neutron either yeah <laughs> the neutron the neutron i think tron is a is a uh, a tabletop uh arcade game i played at the public swimming pool that's what tron is for me i can't i can't deal with this so we're not the target audience for this we're not and that's and that's fair that's, that's fair. valid but the uh, cool katana wielding a person there that's that's pretty cool that, yeah, that, I think the I fact like that we, couldn't, we could not name the characters off nope. the top of our head shows that we are yeah. not nope. the these, target exactly, audience. These this. exist as a top-down 2D thing for me. Yeah, it looks nice. So, mission accomplished there. Yeah. But then they got one that's coming out here coming soon, out right? Coming out in August. Which, I, this, this episode probably airs before this comes out, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I think so. You, you're listening to it now, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Voltron. I, so, this is a license that... It was around. Like, I'm, I'm aware of it. I know I had Voltron toys, but I think there were my brothers, who's just a little bit older than me. Huh. I never, it just never really spoke to me. Me either. That being said, yeah. it is objectively cool. It is. You've got, yes. you've got lions or tigers. What, big cats. You've got big cats that yeah. come together to form a giant robot. Yeah. That's just awesome. That is. Just straight up, there's no other way around it. It's awesome. Flying space cats that become a dude. A big, menacing-looking robot. I, I. So how does this thing function? I have no idea. Like, I'm, my brain, you know, whenever I see these things, of course, we're of the age where I think transformer But that's not what Voltron really is, is it? Yeah, the, how so the transformative big cats, is it? Yeah, so one cat is the body. Oh, uh, okay. And then four cats are the two arms and the two legs. Ah. So they... they Transform into arms and legs. Gotcha. Okay. And and then and then they transform into individual ones. Huh. So it's it's that transformative. Wow, that's very cool. Yeah, I like I like the look of it. I mean, they're always striking. They definitely they nailed the aesthetic yeah. for sure better than I thought they would have. Yeah. When it was announced. 
But it, you know, that aesthetic is always about those sharp edges and kind of angular m mech type things. Mm -hmm. And Lego's the perfect candidate. It for does that. that well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and the fact that it it works as a come apart, come together. Um, that you know, I get it. So that's not a lot of sets that I feel like between the last episode of Ideas and this one. That's not a lot of sets. No, three years. That's just a tiny, tiny trickle of ideas. Yeah. I mean, technically, there was a four sets that hadn't come out when we recorded it. Right. That did come out. So Yeah. That's still bananas. So what is coming up? Uh, we've got Voltron coming up. What else is in the hopper then? The other big one is uh, the pop-up book. Yes. It came out of the, the third 2017 review. Right. Uh, and I, uh, so one of the designers is the designer of, uh, the maze, uh, Jay Allerman, Allerman, Allerman. I, I don't remember. His I'm name. sure we mispronounced it because that's what we do. I'm trying to remember the typing of it, but I do not fellow Canadian. Uh, is it, yeah, it's cool. It's a, another one of those counterintuitive kind of things yes. where I, you don't, I would not have thought of this as a potential candidate for any kind of Lego. Like, I just, if you say Lego pop-up book, I'd be like, really? How do you physically... That's very cool. Yeah, it's definitely an outside-the-box, the way it should be. I love uh, it. Grant Davis is the other designer uh, on this, um, before I forget to say. Yeah. No, but did, yeah, it's a awesome. phenomenal idea, and I love that they, in, in their story, when they put it together, they showed two different insides of hmm. the book. So it's much like the maze design. It's, right. it's a creativity starter. I love it. Yes. So you can customize it you can see in the mechanical part of these two projects is the real uh difficult part for most of the people who are going to try to put something like this together and i like that idea that they've they, they've done the hard mechanical work for you and then given you this platform for your creativity that's a such a beautiful idea for sure and that's that's what uh that's what jason does in yeah. his designs oh that's fantastic uh yeah it's a beautiful 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 thing that i'm very happy they they went for um the downside of this third review is we love the fishing the old fishing house mm -hmm. there were three more designs by the same designer that all fit the same theme and i think the problem here is too many designs by one person too quickly and also the idea that they were saying we don't want a while while they the fishing you know the fishing shop was one specific thing the all of these builds weren't bundled into one thing but it's as though that designer's creating their own theme mm -hmm. and i think that it, it that again goes against their idea of what they were trying to accomplish whereas the pop-up book and the maze are distinct enough from each other yeah they're not pursuant to one theme they're, they're not they're not creating their own thing ideas exactly yeah, I can see why, but it's still like it's always sad when you see the things that don't make it. Yes, it's cry like I feel bad for the designers because I think, oh man, they made it, they made it through the gauntlets, yeah, and then they don't, and you're just like, oh, and they're not they're to get to that point, they still have to be amazing builds. Mm -hmm. That's what just is crushing because you're like, well, I, but I want or, that to get made or a very popular product. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's the other issue. IP. Yeah, yeah, but it was so it, that was a good review. And now we're coming up on our first 2018 review. There's 10, 10 projects. And some things have changed and some have stayed the same. So the one thing that seems to have stayed the same is the idea of how many IPs are involved, like licensed type things or recognizable type things and not like maze or pop-up book outside the box stuff. Yes. So what are, what are some of the, uh, the things that are up to, up to plate here? Well, we have a beautiful, uh, I'm going to say the name of the company wrong, Embrary? Embrera? It's an A29 Super Toscano. Is that it's the, a, the airplane? It's a stunt plane. Yes. yes. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Um, it has a chance. It has a chance, it does. I would say. They haven't done an airplane yet. There, and there's another airplane in this one as yes, well, right? The other one is the SR-71A, the final flight. The Amelia Earhart one. Is, is that it? No, no, this is the... Sort of stealth bombery looking thing. Oh, okay, that's something else. Um, what is the? Was that a different thing? Was there a, an Amelia Earhart one that was up? For there is. I am Amelia Earhart, based on the children's so book. Is there I three am planes then up? There are three planes and a spaceship in so this one. So if you have to say which of the flying machines is going to make it, I'm going to go with the Amelia Earhart one. Really, eh? Because uh, to me, it looks so similar to the Little Prince idea. That's very true. That didn't make it. That's a good point. And the Little Prince, I think, has a bigger worldwide appeal but if the little prince didn't make it maybe 
Well, I don't know if, again, that if that, could, that could have been licensing too. That, exactly. So maybe this will then cover that base. They'll say, oh, that's, uh, that, that covers that audience who wanted the Little Prince plane while also, you know, pre- presenting more positive female role models. Maybe. And so this is going to take over from your NASA and uh, science things. That's right. You too can grow up to be lost forever. I, yeah, as a, well, as, a, as a, an amazing pilot, as a, a groundbreaking individual. Who's going to, I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. I, I don't, again, I don't know how they think, but again, they're looking at those markets and they're thinking what, uh, you know, how many of our verticals can we reach this, this quarter, Jeff? No, it's true. There's, I, I think we would like to believe that it's more inspirational and yeah. aspirational, but it's definitely, it, it comes down to really, yeah. How many checkboxes can we? They are a, they are a giant they multinational have to, right? corporation. And, and, well, I, we don't say that cynically or negatively. I think we, if we were given this, we would have the exact same. Yep. Kind of like you have to put on your, you know, your hard glasses and take a very powerful look at this from a market perspective and not just think of it as fun. For sure. Fun is a checkbox I have at the end. <laughs> is it fun? Oh, yes. Check. So, so, yeah, there's a lot of planes. The other one is a giant assault ship from Star Wars. Now, that one, I thought we they couldn't do IPs that were currently. So this would have. Uh, been preceded pre oh so yeah. it's like a grandfather for sure it's it's a lot of gray it's a lot of gray i don't know i don't know if that'll make it because there's a zero percent chance yeah. of this one making it through uh what's the other ones that we've got going so uh i think the other one that has a zero percent chance is the mystery science theater 3000 he, that was very nichey but then so very is, niche, do, so is I, doctor I, who i think they they nailed the concept. Yes. It's sort of all of the doors that you go through in the intro to the show. Yeah. Before you get to the screening room. Yeah. Uh, nice builds on the robots. It is a nice build. I just don't yeah. know if it's too niche or... And again, like, what's the play feature here? Yeah. Opening and closing doors? That's true. Yeah, whereas I guess Doctor Who actually has more playability. This one has none. Yeah, you have you have you story, the... you can play out conflict. Yeah. Here you, you just, can do your own... You're doing quips at a screen. M S T three K, whatever the acronym is. Yep, you got it. Okay, you can do your own version of that, I guess. You can set it would it up be fun and... to set up like on a TV tray in front of you and yeah. pretend that you're watching the show and Heckling. you're doing your own <laughs> riffs. Yeah. So that okay, that one, yeah, probably yeah. not. Uh, uh, there's a beautiful treehouse. Yes. Like it's just what's absolutely the, gorgeous. What's the part count on that thing? No idea. What? One could it, do research looks, and find out. It looks like five trillion, but it might not. It just, again, it it has that uh, organic look to it. So it looks maybe perhaps more complex and large than it actually is. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, well, and the last one, is, I don't know if it's the last one. There was uh, Snitch. Stitch? Stitch. 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 Yes. Stitch, Stitch is another one. Stitch. <laughs> uh, and it's it's gorgeous. Um, it's a, That's a really nice set, the Stitch one. I agree. It's, yeah. It's articulated. It's like Wally. They've nailed the the whole idea. And then I wonder then is this would this be not allowed under the new rules? Have they done Lilo and Stitch? I don't. They have a whole Disney license. They have a Disney princesses one. Yeah. But Lilo isn't really considered a, one of the princesses. I don't know. I don't know either. Um. But I have a feeling it's not going to be made. The modular arcade. All the time, modular buildings come up for review. Yeah, none of them have made it through. I'm Would partly disappointed because the they're well, and you're partly they're grateful. amazing, and I'm partly grateful because yeah. of my wallet. And yeah, I, totally. If another modular building came out, I would have to buy it, and then no. I would risk having to be divorced. Yeah, and that's a problem. Yes, yeah, uh, exactly. For sure. And then there's a uh, vintage BMW motorcycle. Hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Those and, are. Yeah, those are all. There's. Is that all of them? No, the last one. I think we both really like. Oh, the Flintstones. Yes, set. I forgot. How do? How could I forget? Okay, I can see that. I if I had to pick up my number one, that's going to make it through. I feel like the Flintstones is going to make it through. I feel like that one has a hundred percent chance of getting through. I think they can do some, you know, kind of medievally large parts for some of the Flintstone house. You're going to get all those figures that you've wanted. I guess the question is, because they'll have to pay for it. Yeah. Is there enough worldwide Flintstones appeal? I, it's nostalgia. They're going to hit so many. I, I apparently the the they rebooted the Flintstones the, comic they, and it was phenomenal. They did. The I Big did Bang. not read it. I know exactly. They did Big Bang. That's the thing. They've done enough 
weird idea sets that you can go, well, yeah, maybe they'll do it. If I had to guess about uh, which ones, I would guess the, uh, I would guess Stitch. Uh, I would guess the Flintstones, Amelia Earhart. Or, or how many of these would they actually would? I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say zero from this review are going to come through. You really think zero? I really think it's going to be I feel zero. like the Flintstones could make it. If I had to pick one, then that would be the you one. You pick the Flintstones? Yeah. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Yeah. So they've got a lot. They've got a lot on their plate. It's still, until they filtered through all the ideas that came out before the the ban on current current licensed IP. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, IP fest for sure. I do, things like the treehouse, I do wish, I do wish they would do. And what, yeah, I found the part count there. What is it? Uh, 2643. Yeah. So that's pushing the ceiling. That's, uh, there's no way they're going to choose it. No. There's no way. I mean, they might. I mean, they might choose it and then scale it down to but, 1,500 parts. Good gosh, it's gorgeous. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, that that I could see that get making it into my house, like as a as a thing. That would find its way into my daughter's friends. Would you spend two hundred dollars Canadian on it? I don't know, but my daughter would save for the next two years for <laughs> That's it. True, because she wants. She was like friends treehouse. Oh my gosh, <laughs> like I, I need a treehouse. But that it's an amazing tree. That's house, an amazing tree. That's house. not the call it a tree house is a disservice. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I had, when I was little, I had a friend named Chad and he had an awesome tree house. Was it that good? Uh, it was not this good. It was not even close. No. My, my next one, I had a tree house and yeah, it was, I think it was dangerous plywood is what you refer to it as. No, my, my friends, it was like, it was carpeted. Ooh. Yeah. That's, it, that's uh, actually kind of gross. Now that I think uh, about but it. it was, it was sealed up nice around oh, it. Wow, yeah. Okay. Like it was, it was, a it was a house put up in a tree. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for wow. sure. Like you could have a sleepover and I never did cause I was a little afraid of it. It's heights. nicer than my current house. Yeah. That's about impressive. the same size actually. Wow. I think. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The, his bedroom in there was probably bigger than yours. That's in real life. That's absurd. Oh, lucky kid. Yeah. But yeah, this treehouse looks like it is that comfortable. But I'd say there's a 0% chance it goes through. But I said that about the old fishing store. That's and it. And it made it. Yeah, so you never know. There could, again, there could be a designer that just goes, no, I need this. Well, this has been good. I've enjoyed looking back at, even though there were, when we were both looking back again, we were both, yeah, like how much, how much has actually changed? Not a ton, but it is really interesting to look back at the choices that did eventually um, get made by Lego to allow these sets to kind of filter on through. And yeah, it's, it's a weird line. I, I, it's done, it's done more than I thought it would. And yeah, I, I I hope I'm looking forward to seeing what actually comes out in the next while. I, it's not, they're doing a good job of filtering stuff out for sure. For sure. It's, it's, and definitely get on there. If you're not on Lego ideas, if you're not signed up, get on vote. Yeah. Review it every once in a while. Exactly. Tweet out your favorites. Yeah. It's, it's worthwhile. Yes, it is a place to crush dreams. Yes. But it's also a place to make dreams come true. Yes, exactly. And that's what, I, that's what it's really all about. It's, it's inspirational. Yeah, aspirational. Aspirational. All right, well, we'll come back again. I guess uh, be three more years from now. Check in if uh, this is the only reason you listen to this podcast. Just pop in again in three years in, around yeah. summer and we'll be... Yeah, uh, summer is 2021. <laughs> we'll cover this. Oh, Lego Ideas round three. So if you've got some thoughts about which one you think is going to make it through, uh, hit Jeff up over on Twitter. What are you? I'm at still sorting. You are still sorting, definitely, looking around the room that I'm in currently. <laughs> and uh, Or you can go over to BreakingDads.com. BreakingDads.com? Still BreakingDads.com. In the time that we've done this podcast, it hasn't changed. Huh. Yeah, I know. And uh, we will see you all next time. I've been James. And I'm still Jeff. <laughs>